So we're back in on shape, and this time we are here to learn how to draw in uh, angles. So I'm going to start my sketch. I already had the top plane selected, and I'm just going to grab a line, and I'm going to go from a known point this time. That'll just make things a little bit easier. Uh, and I'm going to click, and I'm going to click. There's an angled line. Now, how do I know what that angle is? I don't. Not yet. I'm going to escape and I'm going to grab my dimension tool. And now I'm going to grab that line and this line here which is on the x-axis of my drawing and when you do that it will give you an angle. Now let's say that's not the angle I wanted and I wanted this to be 35 degrees. All I have to do now is type in 35 and I've got it. What if I wanted another line that came down here and it was essentially a mirror image of what you see above. This angle here should be 35. Well, if I grab the dimension tool, grab that line, grab the x-axis here, it also says it's currently 29, and I can just change that to a 35 as well. Now, I don't have to only work in angles that are less than 90 degrees. So let's assume that I wanted to measure this differently. I want this line and this line again, but I'm going to come this way. Notice if I drag the mouse around to the left side while I'm in the dimension command, I can get several different um, dimensions for where that what that angle is. So I'm going to go right here, 325 degrees. I'm not going to change that because there's no need to change it. It's accurate. Um, and in fact, Onshape grays it out to point out that it's kind of a redundant dimension since we've already got the 35 here. Uh, but that is 360 degrees minus 35. That's how you end up with your 325. So that's how to get angles in Onshape.